just before sunrise to go for a paddle on this beautiful calm water and we're hoping that we might see some otters. Hoping. Where are we? We're on the Ardnamurkham Peninsula in Scotland. Um, is it South West Scotland, North West Scotland? West, West Scotland. Scotland. We're on the Ardnamurkham Peninsula in West Scotland, so Ardnamurkham is the most westerly point of Scotland and it is just absolutely beautiful and we've managed to get the most incredible weather window where there's sunshine and low winds so it's perfect for paddling and wildlife watching. Snacks. I'm pouring out of ten of snacks. Um, twelve and a half. Yeah, without snacks there's no paddling. Without snacks there's no otters. But these are falling to bits. So today's snacks are oat, oat cakes and peanut butter and a spoon because sometimes the peanut butter doesn't make it onto the oat cakes. Just straight into the mouth. Straight into my mouth. That's the best way to eat peanut butter. Arguably. I'm excited. It's not often we go paddling just for fun. What do you mean around the whole of Scotland last year? Don't count. <laughs> okay, well, that was really fun. Really fun. But there was always like, there was always a, a drive to get to the next place, to beat the weather window, to paddle for six hours solid to make the most of the tide. This is, we were going to get on the water at half six, it's now eight o'clock. Who cares? We were going to, well this is it, we were going to paddle five miles round to Loch Moy Dart and now we're going to go two kilometres down south and it's lovely, it's wonderful to be able to just wake up and do what you want and get on the water and enjoy it and go and find otters. That's the main purpose of today. Um, yeah, I'm really loving it actually. We do a little stretch, like a, a little a little stretch before we go on. Mind your head. I don't go swimming. I went swimming yesterday. I am willing to admit it was acceptable. But the sun was out. It was 20 degrees. There wasn't a breath of wind. Today, the sun is hiding. There is a little bit of wind. It's not 20 degrees. I think, viewers, it's going to be 2023. Me yesterday. I lied. <laughs> this is beautiful, Snorkeling, but um, staying dry. Come over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, yeah. How cool is that? Seeing this makes me want to bring more people paddleboarding here or in this kind of place. 
to see what's underwater because this is such an amazing demonstration of how much life there is in the sea that we don't see otherwise. It's so cool. So the reason I came in here is because I'm looking for otters and um, otters tend to make their homes near fresh water so even if they're finding their food in the sea they'll then go back to fresh water to wash off again and I thought that there might be a little stream coming through this valley but there isn't um, but I'm keeping my eye out for streams that are flowing into the sea and also evidence of their poos which are sprains um, which often have um, fish bones in them so just keeping an eye out for the signs of an otter haven't seen any yet but there's still time. <laughs> These are like grapes. They look like uh, bunches of raisins. We were just paddling along and then saw this massive bird, an eagle fly from one tree to another right in front of us. I'm pretty sure it's a white-tailed sea eagle um, given its white tail feathers. It's amazing, it's so big and a tree right in front of us. It's completely so amazing. So this sea eagle has basically just landed up in a tree. So we've come into this little set of rocks I'm just going to get set up. And we're going to see if we can get a stable-ish um, piece of footage of him hanging out in his tree. And um, we'll just stay with him for a little bit of time. We don't want to stick around too long, but we'll see what we can get to um, just see him in his natural habitat. So yeah, a bit of a uh, bit of a win this. Came out looking for sea otters and instead we found a white-tailed sea eagle, which is uh, about three times the size. And yeah, has a much more uh, powerful story in the recent decades. So he's just, um, he's just flown off into the forest and we're not going to follow him or, or chase him any longer. It's important he's able to keep his normal you know, feeding routine, hunting routine and if, if we just keep following him down the coast um, we'll just be disturbing him. So we're going to let him go. Um, but it's pretty incredible to come out on a beautiful morning like this with the hope of seeing a sea otter and instead have a white-tailed sea eagle burst out of the trees in front of you. Um, and then sit for 20 minutes on a branch and just let us photograph it. So yeah, pretty incredible. And um, we're gonna just keep paddling on out and see if we see anything else on the way out to the sea. So we're just um, we're back out to sea. Let's see this now. That's egg and rum in the distance again. Um, didn't see any more wildlife on the way back in. Um, just some beautiful shots of cow paddling, as you've seen. Um, but this is probably not us done for the day. I think we're going to try and get out to a place called Arasaig Skerries later on. I'm going to get some coffee because um, I need some. Uh, maybe a bit more to eat, and then we're going to go look at maybe going out to Arasaig Skerries and do a bit of paddling around there because it looks absolutely beautiful. 
turquoise Caribbean style sort of azure sea and uh, with the light looking like it is, blue skies coming in, I think it could be a beautiful day to get out there and just make the most of the colours that Scotland has to offer.